Hey there YouTubers, so we're going to update the BIOS on our B660 Gaming X AX DDR4 motherboard. And to do that, you're going to want to search for this, okay? If you don't have the AX version, uh, you would drop that off and almost, you know, follow along perfectly with this, except for your search, it wouldn't have the AX. Click on this and come over here to support. And then we want to click on BIOS. Now, if you got this a uh, long time ago, you probably have F1, maybe you have F2. I have somewhere in there updated this to F4, which may be good enough to run 13th gen, but I don't want to screw around, folks. I want to make sure it's going to work and not have to, um, you know, put in a... Uh, Take the 13th out, put a 12th in, update the BIOS. So we're just going to do it now. So what you're going to do is click on download, all right? And then you'll see down here it's going to end up doing this deal. If you go to show and folder, there's your file, your zip file. You'll right click and extract all. I've already done that. It's sitting right here. Uh, and then what you'll want to do, folks, Oops, sorry. You want to take the unzip one and put it on your thumb drive, all right? So you would copy that and basically paste it onto the thumb drive, okay? Now, ideally, you wouldn't have all this excess crap on here like I do. Uh, in this video, also, I usually have my thumb drive formatted to NTFS. We've got FAT32 here. Um, you know, sometimes these things can be finicky, so I always try to do NTFS, but we'll see how it goes. So we have our BIOS file on here, and it's going to be this one. The rest of this stuff, you know, is not really needed. So if we switch over here, here is our BIOS, okay? Now I need to take that thumb drive. I'm using a secondary computer. I need to take that thumb drive and drag it over to the computer. So uh, give me a second, folks. All right, so we're back. It would have been nice if I used my uh, wireless headset that I just got. So um, when you boot up for the first time in the BIOS, you'll end up in easy mode. And uh, this motherboard actually has some damage to a couple of the DDR4 slots. So you normally would not, uh, you would usually see me with, you know, two sticks of RAM in here, A2, B2, that's where you want to be. Um, right now we've just got this one in here. So let's go ahead and do our Q flash. And to do that, we are going to bring our mouse down here at F8. Now folks, uh, before you do this, realize you could wreck your motherboard. So, um, chance it could be bricked make sure you know the weather looks good outside uh, some people don't like it when I drag through this but to be honest with you it's, it's serious business right you don't want the power to go out if you uh, you know potentially are in a situation where you're gonna get hit by a hurricane tornado uh, snowstorm uh, wind maybe they're shutting your power off and they've already given you notice uh, Potentially, if you have a battery backup of some kind, a UPS, uninterruptible uh, power supply, then, you know, you might want to have that plugged in, right? So, if everything looks good, let's go ahead and uh, click on this. And then we need to find our folder that it's in, which is right here. And then the file. And then we'll come over here, click here. Are you sure you want to update? Well, if everything looks good, folks, let's do it. And so this will take a while. Um, and we're going to hit start. Sometimes these things run automatically. So you see what it says there. 
Now at this point, stay away from your computer and just let it do its thing. And I'm going to leave this uh, running, folks, because I like to make these videos as long as the actual event takes, all right? That way you know when you're doing this. If you're following along, this is how long it's going to take from start to, to finish. No editing, which, you know, maybe it would be nice if I'd edit some of my videos. So when we're looking in here, folks, you can see the current BIOS and what the update BIOS is, that F20A. And you can also see the model name matches up, right? If they did not match up, that'd be a problem. And you can see these BIOSes are only a two month difference. So, uh, you know, in case you're not updating for 13th gen, what are other reasons? Well, hardware compatibility. You know, if you have a first, uh, the first BIOS and they've done like 12 of these things, there's a good chance that, uh, you know, they have made your uh, system either perform better, they've made, gotten rid of some hardware compatibility issues, they might have fixed some security issues, uh, along with, you know, updating it for newer CPUs. Uh, they may have expanded the amount of RAM that can be used. This thing's go chugging along pretty good. You'll notice when you do BIOS updates that these are cumulative, so everything in F20A um, gets the best stuff from the BIOSes before it. And if there are a ton of BIOSes to update, or excuse me, if there are a ton of BIOSes shown on that support page, then you will find it's going to take uh, longer to do these if they have like 20 BIOSes sitting there. Uh, of course, you only need to do the uh, most up to date, at least in this situation, you may find on other motherboards in the past that you may have to, uh, you know, do an older one before you can do the newest one. But in this case, we could do the newest one. And so, like I said, I just got two 13th gen. CPUs in, one of which is going to end up in this motherboard. So we'll do some benchmarks with it. And then I will eventually uh, put it in a Z690 and then one day possibly a Z790 uh, if the prices uh, drop down. And it is very close, folks. But like I said, stay away from that computer. Don't touch it. All right, so I do not have an M.2 installed, but uh, we ended up back in the BIOS. So one thing, folks, if you have RAM installed that, um, you know, requires XMP uh, to be, you know, overclocked, you may need to do that. The RAM that I have in here is fixed at uh, 3200 megahertz, so I won't need to do that. The other thing you may find that if you have a bunch of drives installed that they have um, ended up not, uh, you know, the drive that you have with the operating system is not the one that's it's reading to be the, uh, the boot drive. So you may have to fix that as well. But 
that's going to do it for this video, folks. Thanks for uh, checking it out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.